could have sworn I heard something. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I know it's very late for this. I apologize. This is this should have came out like literally the next day or like the next two days after these scans came out with Ultra Z Goku, but I just didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't really have the time as well. The weekend was it was a little weird. It kind of uh, messed up the whole situation, the whole plan, but it's here now. Like I said, it's very late. I do apologize, but hopefully you guys are still interested in this. I did promise in my scan video that I was going to do a translation video talking about all of these moves, all these specials to go into more in-depth uh, talk about his moves and uh, just kind of go into more detail and even give more of an opinion of what I thought it was before and kind of compare it and then see if I was right about things and we go on from there. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go ahead and see what this man is truly about. So first of all, let's go talk about this one. This very first scan we've already seen before. This is the HD quality picture that came out a couple days after the actual scan came out. So thankfully it looks a bit nice, a little more crisp, so we can actually see things a little bit better. Of course, shout out to DB Hype X or DBS Hype. Uh, as we all know him on Twitter, please go check him out. I put both of his accounts in the description below. Go follow him. He does a lot of stuff and does a lot of translations, a lot of leaks for both Dragon Ball and other anime. So please go check that man out. But besides that, let's go talk about this scan now. So this, this page right here doesn't necessarily have a lot of scans or at least a lot of translations. Only the one that has the most translations is this one right here. This one is basically just his ranks for all of his different categories. His power, speed, reach, technique, and energy. Double S for power, double S for speed, A for reach, which is decent. It's not a terrible thing. A is still pretty good in my book, but it could be better. But besides that, everything else is double S, so you can't really complain about that. I mean, having double S for everything else, technique, energy, speed, power, and having that one little A on reach, we can be fine. Like, we're gonna live guys it's gonna be okay like it's not a big deal but besides that it is insane i'm pretty sure there's no other character out there that has double s's as more or as much as goku as this goku right here and i'll prove me wrong if you want put in the comments below if there's anybody who almost matches his stats but i'm pretty sure he's the only character that has this many double s's in his stats the guy is insane he looks incredible but before we move on guys i did say there wasn't any translations for the rest of this page which is kind of unfortunate but it's not a big deal it's not too bad but this down here i just like what is this like i just don't know what this is because let's go to the create let's go to draw real quick i'm gonna kind of draw things out a little bit but this down here like what is that bros because we already have this right we already talked about that this i'm not sure what that is uh, maybe it goes into this uh which actually kind of looks like it would go into that but then this right, I just, it has to be a mid-air level 1. Mid-air level 1, it looks like a mini spirit bomb or maybe just him charging up a lot of key into a blast and blasts it straight down and then just goes off. I mean, literally, if we zoom in just one more time, we can see he just goes right through that blast. So he'll send it down, boom, bang, goes through. I, I don't know. I just don't know. I, I wish I knew. And then this one right here, I don't know either. I wish there was translations for this one, like I said, but unfortunately there wasn't. But it's not a big deal. It's fine. We can go on to the next one, which is going to be this right here. I made sure everything looked better. I blurred out everything we weren't looking at so we can, you know, just concentrate on the one we want to talk about the most. Made sure everything looked big enough for you guys to read. Hopefully, it's big enough for you guys. But yeah, anyways, we're going to talk about the first one on the page, which is Restless Fighting Spirit. Right after being hit by the opponent, teleports in front of them and counterattacks immediately. So once you get hit, it's like hits kind of where he, if you hit him while he's doing his little hands and pocket kind of motion he goes behind you and hits you it's pretty much like that except you're going straight in front of them and just get them right in the gut i'm not sure if you can like combo afterwards maybe it's just a heavy hit where you can go push him off the wall i'm not sure how this is going to work so it's a very nice move though it's going to be it's going to be used a lot it's going to be one of the moves you're going to see quite often used with this goku because it's a good and easy counter so guys just don't swing too much, all right? Don't mash, all right? Be careful with this man, all right? Just saying. So next up, we have the Goldie Demonstration, which I'm pretty sure he meant to put Godly Demonstration, but it's not a big deal. It's a small little error. It's not too bad. The strike with countless attacks passing through the opponent at high speed. You can attack further with the correct position slash situation. So what I'm getting from this, right, is that once you use this move, you have the chance, the possibility, depending on the situation, like it says, and the positioning, you might be able to turn around and possibly go for an extension, go into your little combo in the air, or maybe go for an assist, do something afterwards to create big damage, maybe go into a TOD. You know what? 
it's probably a TOD starter. Has to be a TOD starter. If it's not, then I'll be kind of shocked because it does look like something you can start with, then do tons of combos with, and then just drop them into this next attack, which is going to be the Fist of Innocence. Strike down the opponent after hitting them with countless high speed punches, it can only be used while in the air. So, what I meant by that is once you use this, do all your combos with your assists, whatever, or just do one by yourself, a whole TOD by yourself with this Goku. Afterwards, if you want to do a hard knockdown to finish it, or maybe even not do that and go with the uh, possible level 1 in midair. But besides that, if it's not the thing, if it's not a level 1 midair, then you can use this and just do a heavy knockdown. Hopefully, it's a heavy knockdown. Blast into the ground, go into your level 1s, go into your level 3s, whatever. A possible level 5, which I'm getting to very soon. But you could just do this. It's a very nice, unique move that's thankfully they gave this Goku. Because a lot of Gokus don't have a lot of hard knockdowns. Actually, I should probably take that back. Actually, no, I'm not going to take that back. Because base Goku, I believe, doesn't have any hard knockdowns. Because he just has this little jab. And that's pretty much it that he has in midair. So he does not have that. But this Goku does. It actually has a very nice hard knockdown. Super Saiyan Goku has a hard knockdown. Um, Super Saiyan Blue has a hard knockdown. So a lot of Gokus have this. Sounded weird. Gokus. But a lot of Gokus have hard knockdowns, so thankfully they gave this one another one, and this one's going to look flashy. It's going to look very good. So, guys, a lot of combo routes already happening within this video with only two. Sorry, three. Only three. Like, bruh, this guy's packing a punch. <laughs> and then next up we have this one, the single hit of God's speed. After a forward jump and being upside down, throws an attack at opponent. If they are guarded, movement is still possible. So... If they are guarding this move, you still have the choice or the possibility of moving and getting out of that situation. So you cannot, you probably can't get punished for doing this move. So once you do it, you can get out of it depending on uh, maybe if you have enough space or something like that. So say you're using it, you're like, I'm just going to try to do this and you miss, you can get out of it. So you can't really get punished depending on maybe if you do it early, but they catch it early. Then they could probably punish, but afterwards they probably can't punish. But it looks like there is an EX on it because they do have these ABs, which you guys probably saw uh, before, which I can't really see. There we go. AB right here. I'm pretty sure that means like the uh, the regular attack and then the EX move. So seeing this as an EX would be pretty nice. I'm not sure how this would go if it's uh, bounce off the wall, hard knockdown, sliding. Uh, or maybe just something that can go into it. Some, I don't know, something else. <laughs> I just don't know how that can actually go because I don't know what happens afterwards. Does he go shoot to the wall? Does he go shoot to the ground? Like a bounce, maybe? I'm not quite sure, but still, a very unique move, a very nice move. So we go on to the next one, which is going to be, of course, the Sensitive Bomb, the one I was so, like, intrigued with. When I saw this, I was like, bro, this is like a Beerus slash mix of Janemba's little orb that he shoots out of his mouth that could be very good because you can activate it whenever you want by pressing the button. So this one sent to the bomb, set key blasts around the opponent and use energy to explode them, a technique impossible to guard. So you have the choice to explode it whenever you want. So I was saying this before to myself when I saw this, I was like, bro, think about this. Kid Buu assist with his little ball, right? Or with the cell assist, which is his little C assist with his teleports and stuff like that. You will mix somebody's mind. Like me, I would get mixed by that in a heartbeat. Even if I knew that was going to happen, i probably die. Like, I'd probably get mixed up. I'd be like, you know what? I'm okay with this. I knew this was going to happen, and I'm here for it. You know? Xbox record that. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's going to be amazing, though. Like, that is an insane uh, mix-up setup, or just setup in, in general. It looks like he would probably use it in the neutral as well. So, not just in a corner pressure moment, but also in a neutral moment. So, this is going to be a very, very overused attack, especially if you were trying to just outplay your opponent in the neutral or just, of course, pressurize him in the corner. So this is going to be like one of those moves. It's just like, my God. And think about it. A, B. My man's got EX on this too. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> what can you do? Can you set up even faster? Oh, Jesus, man. This character is already broken. I'm not looking forward to this guy. God dang. And, of course, next up is the Sparkle of Intuition. Multiple strikes while flipping backwards. When this technique is activated, you're completely invincible. So if you are thinking about using this move, to either get out of a situation or just go into something else, maybe a move or a different combo yourself, uh, and you miss this move, you're fine. You're fine. You're not going to get hit. You are invincible while doing this move, which is insane just saying that. Like, I, I'm not sure. It doesn't say when it's guarded that you're invincible, so maybe if he does guard it, maybe you are able to get hit. But I think as you are using this move and you do land the attack, of course, you are invincible. So I'm not quite sure how that can play. I just have to see gameplay to see how this works out. I'm guessing 
once you use the move and maybe he does block it you are invincible because you are in the midst of doing that backflip so you can't just get punished that easily so i can see that happening because you're just sitting there doing the backflip getting 2h super easy to get punished by so i'm pretty sure they'll probably make you invincible as you're doing the backflip which is nice I, th I think that'd be a nice little feature but that and given that little b that little ex right there you know what i'm saying Whew, no i <laughs> just this character man god dang these moves are just fantastic so far man there's just they're mix heavy they're just counterattack heavy invincible heavy like this dude's got it all so next up is the clear intuition this is the one i was kind of like is this like a dodging beam kind of move which it kind of is Fe feasible from switching to the a technique after jumping move a set distance toward the opponent while moving you can derive the b technique so as you're using this a attack the a technique and you're going through a certain distance you can activate the b the ex move and go and activate that one so you're pretty much doing the basic all right i'm gonna dodge this but then you can go for the b and then probably go behind him uh, and go right into a combo or maybe just go behind him and hit him or something like that i'm not sure how that b technique's gonna work but you could basically just get out of this very fast or at least very slow depending on what you want to do so that's that's very nice that's very nice we're gonna go to the next one which is going to be the kamehameha the beam that he has my man has a beam i'm happy about it but this one it's a little different while flying in the air, fires like Kamehameha diagonally down at the opponent, so like Higoku GT or Cell, with two types of commands. It's possible to change the direction of the jump. So I feel like once you are, like, you can hold it, basically, is what I think it's trying to say. Because that's what Goku can do, and that's what he did a lot with Ultra Instinct Goku, is but he just jumped a lot with his Kamehameha and switched his jumping and then shot it, you know? Like he did with Kefla, a little bit like he did with Jiren, of course, he did the same thing against Teflo he did the Jiren so it's a little different uh, but I feel like that's going to be what they're trying to go for with this Kamehameha you can just hold it go into a different position where you want to jump and then blast it whenever you, you want so it's kind of like a fake a little bit of a mix too yeah that's going to be good <laughs> that's going to be if that's what it's going to be the way I'm picturing right now what I'm kind of trying to explain to my best but uh, if it's like that yes that is sick that would be awesome dude it's like krillin but on steroids too because krillin can hold it for quite a while and jump you know but this goku's like all right so where are we going like that'd be that'd be so cool now this one the enhanced heat this is the one that i'm like is this a key charge is this his key charge but goes into a move it's actually just a uh, a move that surrounds yourself with energy and fires at the opponent right above you during activation because you're invincible it's possible to counterattack. so you could use this move and be invincible and it's possible to also counterattack, which is just like bruh <laughs> he has so many invincible moves so now we know it's actually uh, a move of his not just a key charge it's actually a move that's uh, a key charge built into a, a little bit of a special move for him so it's very nice it's i'm not sure if you you, you, know, you probably use this in like dp situations like if you feel like hey they're gonna probably dp me you could probably activate it depending on how fast the frames are with this uh, attack is but yeah I, I feel that I feel that a lot I feel like that would be a, a good one for like as the DPs but maybe in different situations we'll have to see how that one works out uh, especially when we see gameplay because when I see it and I'm like oh that's what you can do and then I'll know and then I'll, I'll take notes I'll be like hey so this is what you do huh I got you all right it's pretty good last but not least is the meteor super attack which is his silver dragon flash raise key quickly to throw it and then punch and rush the opponent if it hits you release the attack so with that being said we're gonna just do a little zoom we can see this a little bit better we see it boom bada beep look at that picture look at that picture i'm gonna probably do a side-by-side -side comparison from the show and this it's pretty much identical of course you can't put that much design and detail from the show into this game but you get the you just get the picture all right it looks fantastic they have it pretty much on the dot amazing again arc system working on their minds fantastic work but this one right here like i said in my previous video it's like you do the punch right so you land that big punch like he does against Sheeran. and then afterwards they kind of have that brawl where they're just going every the aura's flying they're just going back and forth against these rock walls they're hitting each other goku's throwing them and just going crazy I feel like they're going to implement that into this situation, into the next, uh, I guess you could say, that next phase in the move. This man is going to go popping off. I'm hoping they go into a lot of detail with that. Not just do, like, everything what they hit, did afterwards against Jiren. Basically just that part. Just non-stop hitting, hitting, hitting. 
throw on him everything, and then just get him off guard, hit him with that, like, that dodge, like, Jiren goes with that punch, Goku dodges, I'll probably put a picture up so you guys understand what I'm trying to say, so I look like an idiot, <laughs> but he goes with that dodge and just hits him, bro, do that, hit him with this big, huge, gigantic, spear bomb looking Kamehameha down here, and this dude's going crazy, oh my god, that is just, dude, this is probably one of, it's, I'm not gonna lie, this might be the best looking level 3 in the game. It could surpass Gogeta. In my opinion, I feel like Gogeta's level 3 to level 5 is the best looking. It just looks just like the movie. The detail they put into it is fantastic. Probably the best I've seen, like I said, in the game in general. This could top that. It very well could top that. And what I was talking about earlier when I was saying level 5, the reason why I said it is because this right up here, because it says AB, right? Usually that means... Uh, your A, which is just your normal, or B, where you can activate with EX. You have a different kind of move afterwards. This kind of gives me the feeling of, hey, this is probably talking about this down here. Because it's so close, and it's a little more dynamic. A is just your basic stuff. You do all this. But, I feel like this step, this part down here will probably be the B, so the level 5, so you can finish him with that coming out. So this will probably finish with a nice knockdown or something like that. Just a, a, a nice little knockdown. This, I feel like, could be the level 5 that bring the full power of the Kamehameha in and just obliterate him, which they, they they usually do. They've done that now with Gogeta, where he finishes off with Kamehameha. So, it's it could be a run-on thing now, but it's not a big deal. I mean, this thing looks gigantic. It's probably the biggest Kamehameha I've ever seen in my life. So, if it goes from this to this, and then this for level 5, that'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't have a problem with that, or if I'm just being stupid, it could just be all this for level 3, which also is a fantastic thing. So, regardless, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see how this looks and if it is level 5. If you guys think it's going to be level 5, let me know in the comments below. If you guys think it's going to be level 3, let me know in the comments below as well, just so we can kind of see and uh, kind of judge what's going to happen, because I'm pretty intrigued. I want to know if this man's got level 5. Because I feel like they could do that. They have a lot of different things to work with to make tons of level 1s, uh, to make level 5, stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to see. But, guys, besides that, that's pretty much all I want to talk about. Uh, I know this came in uh, pretty darn late, but uh, at least we got to talk about everything in a little more detail. And I have a little more of an opinion or different opinion about different moves now. Instead of me just going off of what I thought it was, now I know what it is. Except some moves, I'm still a little curious how it's going to work, but at least we know a general... Uh, I guess detail or amount of how these moves will work in game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again Look at this man. Look at this guy. He has so many special moves and the fact that we know what they do now It's like bro Invincibility counterattacks. I mean hard knockdowns it's Just a beam moves. I it's a beam it's Level three that looks sexy might be a level five The dude is packed with peanuts my guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.